Good morning, St. Bernard citizens. Today is March 20th, and it's uh, Friday. So uh, I want to thank everybody for their cooperation um, in this effort to make sure that we flatten the curve of this uh, virus here in St. Bernard Parish. Um, there are a few people out there that are acting selfish, and they really need to stay home and have social distancing um, in their uh, plans, at their daily plans. So. Uh, thank you for, for listening. We've got a lot to get to this morning. Um, we have some updates. So what I'm going to start with today is a message from the governor um, to the state representatives and Ray Garafella. Um, so um, in all of these rumors about closing the parish and so forth, the governor addressed that yesterday in this communication. So I'm just going to read it. And I want to thank Representative Garafello for putting this out there on Facebook and his media. From the governor, there is no current plan to require citizens of the state to shelter in place. The National Guard is being deployed to <laughs> the National Guard is being deployed to help with sites that have been set up to house persons who are awaiting test results and do not have a place to stay, to help stand up drive-through testing sites, and to help evaluate structures that may serve as temporary hospitals to support the medical surge we are experiencing and that we anticipate. The National Guard has not, has not been deployed to invoke martial law. Local governments have the ability to shelter in place without approval or direction of the governor. Shelter in place as implemented by other municipalities and states is not a complete lockdown that requires people to not leave their homes. People are still allowed to go to work, to go to the grocery store, to go to the pharmacy, to go to the doctor, etc. Please help us to share this with your constituents it is important during this time of uncertainty that we maintain constant communication. Please know we are keeping you up to date as considerations and decisions are made. Rest assured that no decision relative to a shelter in place has been made if the time comes that such measures are necessary to mitigate and slow the spread of COVID-19, we will absolutely have that discussion with you before announcements are made. So the governor is saying before these decisions are made that they will have these discussions with uh, the state legislature and the local authorities. And they will continue to post revel relevant information as I receive it. Please stay safe and God bless. So that is a message from our governor. So um, that answers uh, those rumors. We continue to get these rumors. There are some text messages and emails going around from the Pentagon and so forth. Those uh, communications are false. So we wanted to make sure we got that out today. I do want to mention uh, our transit service. We are still on the holiday schedule. We have an express bus that's running from Poydras to Araby at 6 a.m. Starting at 7 a.m. in Poydras, buses will arrive at stops every two hours with the last Araby to Poydras bus departing at 6 p.m. from Mealy Street and St. Claude Avenue. I want to um, give some information out for the SBA disaster assistance. The U.S. The United States Small Business Administration is offering low interest federal disaster loans for working capital to Louisiana small businesses suffering substantial economic injury as a result of the COVID-19 virus. Applicants can call 1-800-659-2955 or apply online. Receive additional disaster assistance information and download applications at disasterloan.sba.gov 
slash ELA. Completed applications should be mailed to United States Small Business Administration Processing and Disbursement Center at 14925 Kingsport Road, Fort Worth, Texas, 76155. The deadline to apply for an economic injury disaster loan is December 21st, 2020. If you have uh, any questions about uh, COVID-19 and this virus, um, or if you need assistance, dial 211. That is set up um, by the state for any um, questions about this virus. So dial 211 if you have specific questions you want answered. If you're stressed and you're feeling you have some anxiety, um, there is a phone number for you to call. 1-866-310-7900. Uh, and you can call that number 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So if you're feeling overwhelmed with stress, fear, and anxiety about the uncertainty surrounding this public health emergency, there is a special Keeping Calm Through COVID hotline you can call. And that's the number that I just gave out to you. I also want to talk about hospitality assistance. If you work in the hospitality industry, there is assistance for you through United Way. Um, and, and you can find this uh, assistance and applications at unitedwaysela.org slash hospitality cares. So um, if you're in the hospitality industry, we know you're being hit hard. Go to that website. That is one area of assistance that you can um, tap into. Walmart will have a special hour of shopping for the elderly, for seniors, from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. on Tuesdays only. So please, if you have a, 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 an elderly person in your family, let them know of this because we are getting plenty of calls about um, um, the elderly being concerned about going to do their grocery shopping. So um, please get that word out for us today. I also want to say, um, while we're here, um, you will have um, all of the information and websites and phone numbers for you to call. Um, should be on your screen um, at this time. And we do have a correction for the Louisiana Department of Health uh, updates on the cases that each parish has throughout our state. It's ldh.la.gov slash coronavirus. We um, are taping this right now before the update um, on the LDH website. So um, yesterday it was at four. Um, this morning it was at four. Um, we anticipate an update here in a little bit. And um, right now on your screen, um, uh, well, let me tell you this. We are going to wait till the update comes today at approximately 930 this morning. And we're going to update you with the current um, number of cases in St. Bernard Parish. So at this time, you should be seeing on your media right now, on your television or on the website, you, you should be seeing um, the number of cases we currently have in St. Bernard Parish. So the, that's the reason why we're here. That's the reason why we're asking people to uh, um, stay home if you have to. And, you know, just think of others. You know, when, when I think of this uh, selfishness that, that's happening in a small percentage of our um, community, and, and seeing Coach O yesterday with the governor and, and our attorney general, it brought back some memories of Coach Donald Piku when I was around uh, 10 years old. And it, it was about selfishness. Every day at the end of practice, he would ask some, some questions. We'd put our hand in a huddle. And what would he say? He would say, who comes first? And you would say, God. And you'd say, who comes second? Your teammates. Who comes third? Yourself. No, 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 I should, let me take that back. Who comes last? And you would answer yourself. He didn't say third, fourth, or fifth. You come last. Your teammates and God comes first before you. So with that in mind, um, let's move forward and take care of this virus. God bless.